we are on the same page there. How do we feel about Young Chop uh, firing a gun off of his porch at a random car? We don't know if it was a pizza guy or not. But that was it, insane. That was a funny joke because that was the first headline that I saw. So that's what, what? I believed what? until <laughs> what? I realized. Young Chop shoots at pizza guy in front of his house. <laughs> I saw that too, like Twitter, like and it said, the first it said like, damn, this fool really shot at the pizza driver or some shit. And I was like, what? Um, but no, I mean, that, that, uh, I'm worried about the shot because I don't know. I, I felt like I, once I started following him on Instagram and seeing how much he's also not just acting like a, like a hard ass, but also promoting his music. And there was something about when Southside said he was going to piss on his mother's grave yeah, that, that was- really. You, you sort of started to see the crack in Chop's armor. Of course. Where you sort of realize that... He's not he, serious. He him. is dealing with a lot of pain. Uh, and I'm not saying that in a way like, it's oh, he's excusable. a pussy mm-hmm. and he's not going to shoot somebody. He made it pretty fucking obvious the other day that he's pretty much down to shoot somebody. Yeah. But, I mean, there's a lot of hurt going on there. And I don't know the details of it, but you could tell at that exact moment that, like, I mean, he's going through some yeah. shit. Honestly, like, I've I just been watching just, like like compilations of his lives of him beefing with people and just speaking out against certain people and it's just like to me it seems like he just really feels like he doesn't get the credit for shit that he feels like he's done Mm. and he i feel like maybe he's just been getting shunned away for so long i mean and that he's just coming out and just with this anger but but, okay my my initial impression of chop when i interviewed him and stuff was that i was with you yeah. yeah he seemed very uh you know, just like a super nice, normal, normal guy, guy yeah. not really trying to prove that he was a hard ass. You know, he maybe not, said a few little that. things about having guns and shit like that and not yeah. being a pussy. But this whole like thing of wanting to be a super gangster and wanting to find all the other super gangsters and tell, new. tell 21 and Southside that they're all hoes and all this shit. I, I would not have been able to predict this prior mm-hmm. when I was spending some time around Keith like a year or two ago. I'm not going to lie. Like Chop was coming through the studio. It seemed like everybody was on good terms. I feel like honestly, if you were to have like a private conversation with Sosa or Tato or whatever, mm-hmm. they would probably be able to sh- Tell you shed what. a lot of light on all this stuff. Some people said that you just got out of jail, and I don't know if that's true or not. That that chop just got out of jail. I mean, I don't know how you don't get arrested when you shoot a gun into the street like that. Like he definitely could have hit somebody besides the person that he was thinking about maybe hitting. But like, did you hear the audio? Like, did you really listen to the audio? It's like it sounds like some like frat white dude. And which part of him shooting out the porch? Yeah. So like, basically, the car is in the front, right? You hear like, "Yo, chop!" Like, "What up?" Like, like in a oh, very like kind of like a collegey voice. And <laughs> academics made the point of saying that like he lives in like a not he, so yeah. Ghetto he area. doesn't mm-hmm. live in the fucking hood of Atlanta. Probably so just and some that, kids just fucking around. Yeah, and. They were sent like, okay, so he's been going live like 24 7. He's fucking mm-hmm. beefing with people. He's in an Uber. And in the Uber, it's, the directions are out loud like, yeah. starting destination, going to 125 West, blah, blah, blah Street. Nigga, they probably just found your address like that. It probably wasn't somebody uh, after him in that way, but we don't know. He's acting like he wants to either get shot or, or shoot, shoot somebody someone. or but like, why? You, you know, when people do like the yeah. death by cop thing, where yeah, they basically exactly. like put themselves into a situation where a cop is going to have to kill you because they don't want to actually kill themselves. Chop is almost like doing like death by like, by guy, like rapper with gun. Like he's like basically putting yeah. himself into a position where eventually somebody's bro that south side call was crazy because yeah. south side i mean obviously south side doesn't really have any vested interest in dissing chop's mom south yeah. side is basically making that scenario so that chop is it's so disrespectful is, is basically a pussy if he doesn't do something you're like south side's like but he started i'm gonna him, make bro. this so that you look like a bitch unless you do something which is a very bold thing to do in that no but moment. but it's like at that point bro all the shit he was just saying about Young Chop and just like, you know, talking about his baby mother and just going. I mean, all, all the shit that uh, he was saying about Southside at that point. The shit he was saying about Meek Mill's new baby mama was pretty wild. I don't know if him saying that he fucked Meek Mill's baby mama was a joke or not, but. I think it was a joke. It sounded like. I mean, yeah, actually, <laughs> when remember, you say that, it does sound Remember like a he, joke. Put, he put some video of somebody like sucking his dick and was like, I don't even this know who that dude bi- was. Yeah, who yeah. was that? It, he was talking to some dude and he's like, you want to see this? And he just shows a video of allegedly that allegedly. guy's girl sucking his dick. And but the way the guy reacted, it, the way the guy reacted, it really seemed like wait, it was who was tri- the guy? I, I don't even know. Oh, somebody you knew though, somebody who was like dating yeah. a girl that was like relevant or some shit. 
That was a wild moment. I don't know how many girls are out there sucking chops. Dick. That's what I was thinking too. Wait, you like, know, this, you, uh, you yeah. know who had the craziest beef with him though, and who really got in his ass? Suki Hana. Who the hell is she? I never she heard of her. She's a rapper. That name sounds so she is a rapper. She got like 800K or something. She's a rapper. She's popping. I am not fully invested in the music. I haven't really heard it. After that live and just how viciously, she kind of went crazier on him than Southside did. And Southside said he was kind of pissed on his mom's grave. Yeah. Wait, what's well, the beef with them She too? was saying stuff about she, his booty hole, right? She was basically saying that, uh, gloves she off. kept saying that like you thought that a bitch like me would fuck with somebody like you. I thought you was cool at first, but da 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 da. Like, oh my God. I don't know, man. She was going crazy. She was going in on him. And now that makes me want to listen to her music. Cause I'm like, this bitch is really dug in. Now out I got to check her out. Almost every female rapper, that's what it's like. They diss somebody. I go listen to a couple songs. And then all of a sudden, it's like, she was really <laughs> talking like she was really about all that action and that he was not about none Love of that. Love a girl action. like that, man. That's, that's, that's I tight. believed every second of it too. And I was like, yeah, she is actually active. Yeah. Do you Hit guys her. think that? My girl he, told me she was active too. So, do you guys think he doesn't get the respect that he deserves? Because I, I think I that, thought he did. Yeah, I think so too. I feel like. But maybe in the context of like the bigger scheme, people only mm -hmm. talk about Chief Heat. I mean, but that's with yeah. every producer and rapper duo. Like, yeah. the I feel like not DJ Mustard. DJ Mustard is the nigga. Yeah, but who? But as much as Mustard is huge, YG gets talked about a lot more. That's just yeah, how it is. Just, the guy who's the the sitting game. behind the keyboard is never going to get as much attention as the guy who's out on stage with his shirt off. The mm -hmm. thing with Chop though is like you do hear Chop's name a lot. Like when yeah, people talk exactly. about the drill shit, he's more. His name is, he's the number one person that people will talk about in terms of who was. A producer in that sound. scene, yeah. dude. But yeah. he's like trying to overcompensate and over explain that to everyone. Like, I was, I watched that. one yeah. earlier. He was like, I was the first one from the city signed, Chief Key was the last one that oh, was I signed. That one. Da, 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 da. And I was just like, Why does that even matter? At this you point? guys remember when did you do the interview with him? Uh, a couple years ago, I think that was like 2018. Because yeah. I remember watching like some Vice documentary where they went out to like mm -hmm. Chicago, and you that know, was like they, 2014. Yeah. That was years the, ago. The Vice one the is Vice way one. older, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when they went to his house, and I think he lived with like his grandma or his mom, mm -hmm. and like he was just like, yeah, you know, they're running out with guns and being all crazy, <laughs> yeah. but I'm just here. I'm just making beats. And exactly. Like, that's the he, kind of guy yeah. I thought he was. So Chop like, was always the guy who said, yeah, these dudes do tons of drugs. He was always drug free, I think. Like, you know, I think he still is. He smokes hookah. And he was shit. like smoking hookah, yeah. Yeah, and that is kind of weird that people are like, oh, Chop is off the Zans. Chop do not look like he's off the Zans. He looks like he's he going through coherent, some shit, yeah. but he does not look like he's off the Zans. What's going on? Nah, like you can tell when somebody's fucked up on drugs most of yeah. the time. Yeah. Even like with Aaron Carter, Aaron Carter seemed bugged out, but my drug addict radar yeah, was not going really off going with him either. Was, you know? Yeah, he didn't give me like sluggy. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot of vibes. like weird shaky movements and stuff. Yeah. Like like Aaron Carter was behaving very very, very erratically, but it's a once you you have to be around a good amount of drug addicts before you can sort before of identify can, the difference. You between. have to be a drug addict to know one, guys. Right? Yeah. Well, a lot of it's in the eyes. Don't you yeah. think you could you could kind of look at somebody's eyes and get a, sort of a, a yeah, young view. chop looked very normal, but like he was yeah. just like didn't give a fuck anymore. You know he, uh, young chop reminds me of Fusi right now. Wow. When Fusi was going through that mm -hmm. manic episode and he was running around saying all this positive shit to everybody everywhere, it, it almost feels like with the Young Chop thing, or even dude the Soldier Boy thing. I kind of mm, feel like yeah. Soldier Boy was going through a manic episode on them fucking oh, the Everyday Struggle and Breakfast Club and everything. Yeah, for sure. I feel like Chop is honestly going through something I would kind of compare to that. Yeah, but see, but like but, in a scary. Yeah, like, it's it's different with because the, the so veneer of. Oh, I'm the toughest person in the world, and yeah. I'm gonna tell. He's actually and doing the six nine thing if you think about it. Nah, but he's going. He's doing it way more extremely than anyone by going to Twenty One Savage's old hood. Oh yeah, and fucking pressing construction workers like where's Twenty One so Savage at? The like, thing I don't understand is how the fuck weird like random women electronic on the elect yeah Listen. like. Hey, baby, you got a fat fatty. Where's Twenty One Savage it at? It felt like when I was in a car with you. I don't. I I've don't say this. To, I don't say this to question Chop's gangsterism at all. But am I wrong to think that you really don't want to be a shooter in an Uber? Because oh my god, the Uber. The, the, the whole the idea Uber, is that if you're gonna go, like, say me and you, we're gonna decide to ride out on somebody tomorrow. We're gonna Not go in shoot him up. Not in an Uber. <laughs> Doing it in your own car, bad idea. Doing it in a rental that's under your name, bad idea. Doing it in an Uber, we're probably the really worst bad idea. idea. You got some fifty year old dude in the front seat that's gonna see everything and have no reason not to talk to the cops that's crazy but you know what's fucked up too he's like, not gonna spin the block he's not gonna yeah. do all the shit that you would want to do or that he, your homie is gonna do in the car did. 
Yeah, but well, he's not going to like really be like there for you in this warfare oh, yeah, that 100%. allegedly is happening. You well, know? Well, the craziest thing is that he kept fucking driving him home. He drove him home. What after. the fuck was, I mean. That's a cool well, ass. I mean, it is Atlanta. He might have seen some shit before. What I was thinking was that like this might have been like some older man of like, you know, non-American American descent. Yes, American descent. And that I agree. You but know, he like thought Chop was looking for his fucking family member or something. If I had a, I mean, a, when you get your car shot up, is when you're probably like, okay, this guy should get the fuck yeah, out of my car. If you're on live, is when I stop feeling bad for you. Um, I feel like, but also we really don't know that Azubra got shot up. I don't know that this because I kept looking for video. There is no video. There is There's no video, no video of that. Saying that. He's but lived I mean, his whole life on live, but not but that. But he part. did say there was hella glass and shit in the oh, really? thing, like the like the window was busted. And he I did say that. to him like, "I'll cash up you, like I'll cash up you for the, the window." He's like, "What's your so, cash app? I'll, I'll pay for the window." So yeah. bad, but can you guys please talk about uh, bad baby black fishing? Uh, I thought it might have been a filter. Did you see that? No. Want to show me? Um, I can't now because my Twitter is suspended, so I can't log on to Twitter, which is where I sent it to uh, Lil Thug Baby and sent it to you. Oh, you did send it to I me. I think I, I did send it to you if you check your DM. Well, the DM is probably not there anymore because... Yeah, I tried to send you a really funny fucking picture. What was fucking it? Fucking A, man. Yeah, what? so do, can you uh, message oh. fail to send? Oh, I sent you a really funny picture of a guy in a, <laughs> a waist <laughs> trainer. <laughs> what the fuck? I need to get one of those. Okay, anyways, so what happened? Ooh, okay. Oh, she looks... uh. Yeah, no, like, yeah, she looked like really black in this video. Like, she looks, she looks like Latina mixed, not white person. And she just like hella tight. Like, I mean, obviously she's a young woman who's growing up, so she's yeah. gonna look older. But she looks like, she looks like twenty five now. And it's, like, I feel like in terms of speaking on black fishing, I'm not the person. So I'll let you take the reins. Okay, Do you think so she's quote unquote black fishing. I mean. Uh, let's just be honest like let's call a spade a spade she looks like she's trying to achieve a darker tanner look she's like rapping fucking nba young boy lyrics or something in the song and uh in the video and i don't know it's just if if you would have not told me that there was bad baby in the video i would have thought it was some other random black girl not gonna lie Hopefully you guys enjoyed this clip from the No Jumper show. If you want, tune in next Tuesday. We usually do them at about 6 p.m., but check our social media if you want to make sure, and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I would love to know your thoughts down below.